Welcome back. It's time for another round of dating in the DMV. And it's very important to remember dating is not specific to new relationships. You may have to rekindle that spark with your partner in a long-term marriage or relationship. So here to help are authors of the new book, Secrets of Strong Couples, a strong couple that has been married uh, more than 37 <laughs> years now. Our bae's good friends, Julie and David Bullitt. Welcome back. Well, thanks. Thank and you. it does take some strength. Yeah. It does. <laughs> Yeah, 37 so, years worth of adjectives. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Why do you think sometimes that flame dwindles down a bit in, in the relationship for starters? Well, you know, in my office, what I often see is that people, you know, they've lived their lives and they just stop paying attention to each other, mm. you know? And so you grow apart. When you're not, when you don't stay connected consistently, and we talk a lot mm -hmm. about that, mm -hmm. you, you start to grow apart. And that's what, ha that's what happens with a lot of folks. They don't dislike each other, hate each other, angry each other. They just have started to live these separate lives year after year and so forth, so. Well, you all say to apply the three C's. What are they, why are they so important? Yeah, absolutely. So the first C is communication and how that, that's like the mo the number one thing that people come into my office for. I'm a therapist and people come in and their communication breaks down. And oftentimes people also don't want to talk about hard things. Mm. And they sweep things under the rug or they try to be nice or they don't want any conflict. And what I, you know, what we, we promote Promote is talking about hard things. That's how you get your relationship deeper and deeper, and uh, it's important to do that. And connection is 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 that thing. You know, we see it on The Bachelor, right? We're not talking about The Bachelor. <laughs> We're talking about doing, staying in touch, staying, staying. You know, know what each other is doing, know what each other is feeling. President mm -hmm. Kennedy said, uh, the, "The time to fix the roof is when the sun is shining." Right. Oh, so, yeah, sure and so it, you got to apply that to your relationship. It's not just wait for these special mm -hmm. holidays, Valentine's Day or Thanksgiving or birthdays and things like that. That connection and that does toggle into the consistency piece. Absolutely. Right. right. I always say your relationship can't be an elf on the shelf. You can't <laughs> put, you can't put it away and bring it back out when it's convenient to work on things. And a lot of people, a lot of couples do that. They get busy and they don't realize that, wow, we haven't been out on a date or I haven't checked in with my partner about something and they just kind of lose that that consistency yeah. piece and it's easy to do we're all busy mm -hmm. you talked about the three C's and mm -hmm. the communication being the number one let's talk about the tone of the communication because I think yeah. that that's very important and the intent um, a lot of times people you know they come out of their mouth the wrong mm -hmm. way they say things <laughs> the wrong way yeah and it just makes the situation worse so what, what's the best advice yeah, you have so, for that? so two parts we, we talk about two parts one is it's not what you say but how you say it and also it's when you say it Right. Mm. So, so mm -hmm. if you're if you're a morning person, mm. right? Yeah. You are just not, you, you are not yeah. gonna be making life. Yesterday and this happened to yeah. you. Yes, you, you weren't ready for it. Yeah. You, you, you yeah. got, you're not gonna be making life decisions or having real serious discussions yeah. at 11 o'clock at night if you're if you're a morning person. And you guys oh. have to be because you're yeah. up here right now. I just right. woke right. up in front of your children. children. That may not be the right time. Yeah, it's often not the right time in front of your children. That's a whole different discussion and segment. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Tone and timing are really important in the communication piece and they if you can remember not just to to be not just to get your point across but to the goal would also to be to understand the other person the other side of it so we call that perspective taking mm. and sometimes that's really hard for people to do but if you go into a discussion or you know conflict with somebody and you can take the other person's perspective that changes everything and lastly you talk about flirting yes. oh, it doesn't have to end after the courting <laughs> Yeah. 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 Listen, I mean, who doesn't like, in the right, in the right scenario, uh -huh. is there anybody here who doesn't like to be flirted with? It's always very flattering. flattering. Exactly. You like yes. it. It makes you feel good. Yeah. So well, and there's actually chemicals in your brain. The dopamine? The dopamine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do I know about that. Dopamine. <laughs> Don't study that, did you? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Flirting, really, there's, there's science about it being good for your body, good for your brain, and it makes you feel good. And right. it makes you feel seen. Mm, you know, if you're flirting good. with somebody, they know that you see them. We were with a couple one time, and we were having dinner, and there was another couple away from us, and they were very touchy-feely, loving, you know, very, very, you know, physical with each other. Uh -huh. And so the person we were with said, oh, they must not be married. Ooh. Oh, wow. And, and that struck me, and yeah. it stayed with me, because 
why should yeah. it be that you way? You can keep it fresh even once you're married. But it takes work. It takes work. Yeah. It, work. It, it does. It, it does. Get it back, gets back to the consistency yep. and mm -hmm. creativity, right? Yeah. You know what? That, that whole part where you said about the flirting, your cell phone with the texting is yeah, awesome no, no, with no. that. I'm really good at that. Hey, well, yeah, sexy little emoji. Yeah, girl. That yeah. However it works. However it works. Yeah, it can, be a it can be a text. It can be a wink. It can be a phone call. But if you think of flirting as sort of like keeping the car warm, right. If you, if you have always like a level of flirtation in your relationship, then when it's time to be intimate with somebody, it's a little bit easier to get there yeah. because you're keeping, you know, kind of keeping things going. Whereas if you haven't been flirting, then it's, you're like starting from scratch again. And it's and awkward. You're like, who are you? Awkward. What's going on? Exactly. <laughs> what are you trying to burn me up for? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I, it's, it makes you feel good. So yeah. why shouldn't you look someone so handsome there? today? Aww. Okay, well, we're leaving soon, so. I guess I'll see you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Right. One more time, the title of your book and where people can go. Yes, this is Secrets of Strong Couples, and uh, we have a website, thebullets.com, B-U-L-I-T-T-S.com. We're on Instagram, uh, YouTube, all social well, so media. Should, your and local bookstores should be there. Nice. Yep. Places, so. and, and clearly it's working. I mean, it's yeah, it is. Oh, you know, but I mean, come on. They're look, doing. look at her. Uh, How can I be doing bad? <laughs> <laughs> like that flirting, good stuff. It's good. It's Thanks good to flirt. So nice to see y'all. Nice to meet you. Yes. 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 Y